uniform start down to the first climb up the Wutan section. But it is Hernandez out in front. And the 47-year-old Cecile Hernandez, the two-time Paralympian, going to extend that lead, holding on to the number one spot. Now the battle is between the silver and the bronze now. That's yellow, Lisa de Jong in her Paralympic debut in yellow, in second. And that's Lisa Bunchoten from the Netherlands in that third spot. Brenna Huckabee making a charge in green. Oh, and connection between the two. That's green and blue. So the battle for bronze is going to be between those two. But right now, Cecile Hernandez is focusing on trying to claim the gold here. Cecile Hernandez in the lead for the gold. And that's going to be yellow. Lisa de Jong, Paralympic debut for her, sitting in a silver medal spot. And blue, Lisa Bunchoten is going to be off course. So Brenna Huckabee should be able to grab this, but here we go. Let's talk about this one. Here's for the gold right now. Cecile Hernandez puts it down. Gold medal is going to be hers. The silver medal, Lisa de Jong, but still the bronze is yet to be determined. Brenna Huckabee now to the final roller. Huckabee for the USA. No mistakes, she's gonna cross. There is your bronze. What a story in the women's snowboard cross, SBLL2. Cecile Hernandez, 47 years old from France. Having to go to court for the right to compete. The only gold medal available to women at Beijing 2022 in the snowboard category. And the French woman took the whole shot and stayed full frame down the course. It was the contact that we need to take a look at too. Yeah, they just got, and then what happens with Bouchon, when she goes off course, there's nothing she can do. So she will get a DNF by going around. It was, wasn't able to get back on the course. And that's an area you don't want to fall in because it is so slow to get started again. Oh, it gets a little sideways there. And the emotions for Cecile Hernandez. It's not just the preparation that she's put into her snowboarding. It's the battle she's been fighting to get to Beijing 2022.